Black Summer. Now, this is a show I've uh, heard of quite a bit, and um, you know, it it has to do with zombies. That's all I know. I've never seen any trailers or anything besides that. Um, but Maher, you have messaged me today saying how awesome it is, and <laughs> yeah. so go ahead and um, tell everyone your thoughts on that. Yeah, so Black Summer Season 2 just dropped yesterday on Netflix, and I really liked the first season. And look, it's a zombie show, so I, I'm really big into zombies and stuff like that, so I'm going to watch it anyway, and I'm probably going to like it. And Season 1 was a good watch. It was, it was interesting. It was kind of different. It's actually a prequel. The same team that made a show called Z Nation is actually involved with this show, but Z, Z Nation was more of kind of a, a goofy comedy style to the, the zombie genre. The budget wasn't as big as, say, an Army of the Dead or, or The Walking Dead, but it was still kind of a fun show to watch. And the same creative team got a contract with Netflix to make this show last summer. And look, I, I, initially I wasn't too excited because C Nation's an okay show, and many people were kind of doubting the show before it kind of aired. I think it was nearly two years ago the first season came out on Netflix because of the pandemic hit and stuff like that, so it was delayed and delayed. But I enjoyed the first season. So I was eager to watch the second season. The trailer dropped a few weeks ago. And they were going to be more in kind of a, a snow environment. In season one, the kind of big thing was the zombie outbreak happened. All these different characters were trying to get to the stadium where the military war. That was the safe base and stuff like that. But obviously, it, it might not have worked out as maybe they hoped. So this season is really, really good, Casey. And I was, I was messaging you to watch it because the directing style, a lot of it's one-shot sequences. And the directing style and the actors... They put so much work into this because it's flawless. It really, really is. And it, this is, even though I enjoyed season one, season two is miles, miles better. It's just unbelievable. As I said, the one camera shot sequences with the zombies. So if say there's a character who's running away from a zombie or a horde of zombies, you're actually running with the character. The cameraman must be very tired or very fit that works on this show because he does a lot of running. But it, it feels like you're playing a, a video game. It feels like you're the character. You're running with them away from the zombies, and you're like you're talking to the screen. Uh, hide out. Don't don't make noise and stuff like that. It, it feels like you're in a video game. And yeah, I, I just said to you, if if you're kind of curious about the show, watch the first seven minutes of season two. There's a one shot sequence that goes on for seven minutes straight, and it's just it's just fantastic. It really is. And I would say this season, I just finished it today, and I was just blown away. I, I would say that it's kind of a a zombie genre um, a masterpiece. It re it's really, really good. And I don't know what happened to the Z Nation creators, but they've really upped their game. Maybe it's because it's a better budget, more freedom, because they were working on, working on a key, key cable TV uh, channel. Now with Netflix, of course, more freedom, more money and stuff like that, more, more time to breathe with these characters. But it's kind of like there's many stories each, uh, throughout each episode. And there's chapters. So a chapter could be called, um, just say, Cold or, or, or Casket or Lodge or something like that. These are just random names. But that, that's what the name of this like, mini story is. And you, there's, there's a certain amount of characters that you meet throughout the season. But they're all interconnected in some way. And you might see something that happened, the end of something that happened. Then in a different story, you get to see the start of it. And you get to see a different character that was actually in that scene, but you didn't see them the first time around. And it all connects together in a really, really interesting way. So, look, I'm, I'm a big fan of the show. And I think it's absolutely brilliant. And Jamie King, uh, who's kind of the lead, uh, in season one, her kind of mission was to find her daughter, who, 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 kind of she, got, who she lost. And this season, she's just a complete badass. She is just... Uh, she feels like a Zack Snyder female character. The, the evolution of her character has just been fantastic. So, look, Black Summer is a lot of fun. I love the directing style. It reminds me a little bit of um, The Servant, KC. Oh, really? With M. Night and a few of the directors there. Because the other way, like, it's, like this season is set, and I don't know where it's set, but it's just it's snowing and all the time, and it's really cold and stuff like that. So it feels like we're all in the one location, even though the characters are spread out and stuff. The same in Servant, we're all like, it's all located in that, that Pacific house. And the directing style kind of of Servant is like the camera may pan around and follow a character and like you go up the stairs and you see a different character and stuff like that. Here is kind of similar. The camera is what makes this show, the, the directing style, because it just follows a character or a scene or an area and it just it scatters around and it gets the complete view of it and something happens. 
it's just really well done. So I'm probably talking too much about it, but I just I just really love this season. It's 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 it's, it's brilliant. It's the zombies are they're not they're not like the Walking Dead. They're really really fast and they're really really scary. These zombies are scarier than the zombies that we got to see in Army of the Day. This, the, the chase sequences are a lot more intense. So um, yeah, that's that's my that's me finished uh, simping over uh, <laughs> Black Summer. Well, you you've sold me on this show. This sounds incredible. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm like. Watch this. I, I would say like season one is good, but it's not as good as this season. But bear with it. There's only eight episodes, and yeah, if, even if you feel yourself, season one's good. But even if you feel yourself, oh, I don't know if this is for me. Just stick around for season two. Well, and uh, yeah. and I feel like we don't get a lot of zombie stuff in the uh, in the snow. Weirdly, I like that this is set in like a cold place. I don't see that a lot. So yeah, and it, and it adds to it as well because the characters are the, the the people who are alive have to run through snow. So they're falling and stuff like that, and like they're getting tired quicker. So yeah, it's it's a really good thing. And even the zombies are um, they're falling over the snow. They can't really get their grip in the ground, which is interesting. And you get to see the kind of the breathing, like the coldness through their breath with the zombies as well. And there's even zombies who are completely kind of frozen. Their eyes are frozen and stuff like that. Oh and it's, just, it's it's weird. And it's really it's really well done. And it's there's it's not like. Like The Walking Dead can be criticized for maybe too much kind of drama at times, too much dialogue. This show does a perfect balance of the the, the kind of the, di- the dialogue is done, but you're moving with the characters, you're moving with the cameraman at all times, and then an action sequence happens, and you're with that character, and they have to hide, and they have to. Uh, it's not just zombies. People in this show will turn on you as quick as anything. Like there's times in the show I was watching it. There's even a character from season one who you see in season two, and like. He was one of the main characters in season one. And you're like, oh, yeah, I love this character. And then something happens to him. You're like, what? I love this character. Why did they do, why did they just do this? You know, I, I, there's, there's a lot of shock value in it. So I, I would definitely check it out. If you're a, definitely if you're a zombie fan. And uh, even if you're not, I think you can appreciate the, the, uh, the direction. is just fascinating. It's brilliant. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds actually really different, interesting for the zombie genre. So that, that would sell me on it. So... Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely check it I, out. It was uh, it was a big. Hit. Yeah, I've I've been telling you to check it out because I was like, Casey, check out Black Summer, watch Black Summer, watch Black Summer. But I think you'll dig the, the just the production value, everything involved is just. I, I think they will get a season three. Season one was a big hit, and uh, I would be very disappointed if this doesn't get a season three. On Netflix. Yeah, <laughs> I know. On Netflix is uh, sometimes they're very. They're weird in the Netflix, even though if a, even if a show does well, Jupiter's Legacy. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know it was Netflix, so that has me worried. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see what happens. But hey, their standard yeah, is exactly. to go for three seasons at least, or you know, most that's true. most that's true. Uh, that's true. shows. There's that. Yeah, it would. They wouldn't really um, cancel a show after two seasons. They'd give it kind of maybe the third. So yeah, that's that's probably, that's true. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. Uh, it sounds interesting to me. Although I don't um, usually like the zombie stuff, um, it's not one of my favorite things to watch, you know. Um, however, there are exceptions. Um, I liked Army of the Dead, obviously, and uh, World War Z was good. Dawn of the Dead was good. Um, I like the zombie land stuff. Um, <laughs> that's pretty funny. And uh, yeah, stuff like this that's um, different um to the normal typical zombie action movie i i really like that so i'll definitely check that out yeah and even if you're um you don't like zombies but you appreciate like filmmaking and stuff i think you could definitely learn something from from what they do even if you were to make a film yourself someday or even just for your own kind of film knowledge like this directing style could be done really well not just in a zombie film or show but in like uh, just an action sequence, like a John Wick or something like that, and it's um, yeah, it's, it's it's definitely worth checking out if you're into movies and filmmaking. 